Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am currently at the Ralph Lauren party for this book off, this like book release for this interior design book. And I'm just waiting for my friend to get out. And I just thought I'd vlog really quick. I'm having some champagne. I'm um, at the Ralph Lauren Madison Avenue like flagship store and it's really fun. Um, and yeah, so I'm here right now. And the book is for an interior design book by Ricardo Barroso. I just got it signed by him. And it has a foreword by Eva Longoria, who is also here. And it's a really fun night of cocktails and books at Ralph Lauren. So, love it. So I just got home from the uh, party at Ralph Lauren. That was really fun. Um, I look crazy because it's literally pouring cats and dogs outside. I don't know if you can hear it. I live on the top floor of, an, of my uh, building and so we have skylights throughout the apartment and I can hear the rain just like pummeling the ceiling. Like it's crazy. Um, I'm just, I just took Stewie outside. He's down here like sniffing things out for a walk and he got soaked so I just dried him off and I'm about to chop up an onion because we're about to make some spaghetti for dinner. So anyway, I just got home from this party. It was really fun. My friend works at Ralph Lauren. She's a really good friend of mine. She came to my wedding. We've known each other for like six years, I think. Really, really good friend of mine. Love her to pieces. Um, and we don't see each other enough. But um, she invited me to this party. And like I said earlier, it's for this author. Uh, author. Sorry, I, I'm like literally brain dead today. I had a really rough morning. And then I worked all day and then I went straight to the party. And it was a fucking nightmare getting there because like I said, it was raining. And I took the subway and I never take the subway line because I usually don't go to the Upper East Side. Um, and so I took the six and it was literally hell on earth. If any of you ride the six train, I feel free, I really do. Um, this is the book and Ricardo Barroso. I th did I say Anthony earlier? Like I said, I'm literally brain dead, don't listen to me. I just wanted to show you really quick the um, signature he did for me. Let me flip this. Um, maybe I can't flip it, sorry. So it says, to Daniel, me encantó conocerte, un abrazo. Um, Ricardo Barroso, New York, 2016. Can you guys see that? Or are you just seeing, oh, sorry. Um, can you see that? There you go. Um, sorry, it's not that clear. Anyway, it was very sweet of him. I bought the book, it wasn't given to me. Um, and I thought it was cool, because you know, I want to support my friend who invited me, and obviously the author, uh, he, what can I say author today? What's wrong with me? Um, he's Mexican like me, so I thought it was kind of cool to support another um, fellow Mexican. And uh, he does Celebrity Homes, so he did, I know for sure he did Eva Longoria's house, because she uh, did the, um, like the, end, the end, what do you call that, the epilogue, the prologue for the book, and she was also at the party, she was um, co-hosting it with Ralph Lauren, because the thing is, he works a lot with Ralph Lauren. I'm actually gonna chop up this onion while I talk to you, um, for the spaghetti sauce. Anyway, um, it was fun. It was very small, but I have to say they did a good job with, I've been to a lot of these fashion parties in San Francisco. I, I actually went to a lot of them in San Francisco because that's all you really had to do in San Francisco is go to these fashion, these retail parties, you know, at stores, openings, you know, charity events and things like that. Um, and, and now that I live in New York, not so much just because I'm not, um, you know, I'm still kind of meeting people and stuff. But, um, out of the, all of the ones I've gone to, because I always compare the caterers and, you know, the champagne and, you know, all the little details that actually add quite a lot of um, expense to the party. Ralph Lauren does it really well, as you one would hope and expect. They had these beautiful men, like they literally called up the modeling agency and just said, send over 20 guys. All of them were like 21, six, over six foot, really handsome in these white blazers. And there was a guy at the door with champagne, then another guy to take your umbrella, and then another guy to take your coat. 
so even though I walked there uh, from the subway and felt disgusting, I like composed myself and they took my coat and I had this little fur stole and this turtleneck, so I kind of pulled it together, had a little champagne, and then they had quite good, uh, pretty good catering. Um, this onion's giving me problems. Uh, they had, the best thing I saw was this little fancy potato chip that had caviar and creme fraiche, and you know I live for caviar. Had that, and then they had like little like salmon, little like a mousse bouches, you know those tiny little things that they pass around on plates? They had a lot of that, which I think is great, but um, when, they, when I saw the caviar and when I saw like, um, uh, they had like a like a steak thing. I was like, okay, they're really they're doing it today. I was like, I'm very happy about this. Um, so anyway, I like the party. I, honestly, I really more than anything, I'm not a huge interior design buff. You know me, I'm 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 into fashion, so I'll go to like a fashion party for fashion's sake, or if it's like a designer, or if there's like a famous editor there or whatever. This was more. Um, I just really wanted to see my friend, and you know she works at Ralph Lauren, and that's that store is honestly so damn beautiful it's like this old mansion from like the 19th century gorgeous on the inside it's just a really stunning store and so i really just wanted to say hi to her and see her and um she had plans to have dinner with um her brother-in-law in uh queens which was fine because i had plans to have dinner with jim and since Jim just started working at the hospital in a new job, his schedule's different, and um, I was worried about Stewie because Jim worked from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., and I worked from 8 to 5, and then I went to the party, so I was like, oh my god, Stewie's not used to being home alone this long. And so I really wanted to get home to him, and so I took a cab, which I don't usually do. It was like 20 20 or $30 cab ride from the Madison store to my house. But, you know, honestly, in this rain, I was wearing um, these leather kind of Chelsea-type boots. Um, they would have gone ruined. I would, because I, um, I, I live on the west side, and so I'd have to walk across the park and then get on the sea line. And by the time I'd walk across Central Park, my feet and my pants, everything, I would be soaked. So I just, you know, I bit the, bit the bullet, and I'm like, all right, I'm just going to spend on a taxi. I was going to do Uber, but it was sur uh, Surge, so it would have cost me like $50 to get home. It's like three miles. It's like not even that far, but, um, you know, it's just New York for you. So I just wanted to do a little vlog, um, because I want to do more of these vlogs, but it's kind of hard when you're like caught up in the real world. Like, you know, when you're like just working and just trying to like work, go home, do it all over again. Like I just, it's hard to be on or ha hard to like kind of for me to start incorporating like the vlogging aspect as I go about it. So I'm like getting better at it, hopefully. And I'm also gonna get a really good camera soon, I think. Like I'm gonna invest in a really good vlogging camera and I feel like that's gonna really facilitate me vlogging. Cause I feel like I really wanna do that and share, you know, share stuff with, you know, people who watch my channel. My channel's really small. I, I have like 40 followers. So I thank all of you who follow me for following me and, um, I appreciate the comments I've gotten and the likes I've gotten. And, you know, I'm really into social media. Like, I'm really into Instagram and Twitter. And so I've always been into YouTube, but I figured I need to get myself more active. I, I've actually, you know, long ago when I was little, I was like maybe 11 or 12, I used to make these like fake, um, uh, like TV shows on my computer with my dad. Like, I, um, I had this software, I mean, this is like back in 2002, yeah, around then. And so the technology wasn't that great, but I had this software and I basically put together like my own little TV show and I would like interview my dad and I'd have like a series of topics that I would talk about. Um, and so I, I like that kind of stuff and I enjoy like the editing aspect of it and all. And I'm like, I need to get like Final Cut Pro and like all that stuff that makes it like just look better. So... I hope to be a little bit more innovative with my blog, my vlogging. So anyway, I, um, I'm just chopping this onion up because I'm going to start a little pasta sauce here in a minute. As soon as Jim gets home, we're going to do a little Italian sausage and some nice, nice hearty pasta sauce, you know, and then have like a glass of wine. I feel like when it's raining and cold out, I just want my comfort food. You know what I mean? At least I do. 
Um, and so I was working today and it was just cold and dreary and kind of quiet at the office. Um, so it was kind of fun at the party. It was just like, it's kind of a weird crowd. Like there wasn't a lot of people there. Like even though I was hosted by Eva Longoria and I guess Brian Atwood was going there and he's actually hosting a Halloween party tomorrow. Um, with the, des with the interior designer. Um, and he actually asked me when I met the design, the designer and he signed my book. He's like, Oh, are you going to, are you going to Brian Atwood's party tomorrow? And I just kind of played along cause I wasn't invited to that. Um, and so we were speaking Spanish cause I said, Oh, you're, you know, Mexican and I really respect your work and blah, blah, blah. And, um, I said, um, Oh, so he said, Oh, you're going to Brian Atwood's tomorrow. And I said, Oh, um, you know, honestly, I'm still sort sorting out my schedule and, hopefully I'll make it and so I kind of deflected a little bit because I didn't want to say um no I don't have an invite to that do you want to invite me because hey a, a, a party at for Brian Atwood sounds much more interesting than my current uh calendar just to be honest with you I'm like is Lady Gaga gonna be there like can you imagine the guest list at Brian Atwood's like Halloween party or whatever party he's throwing just saying <laughs> Speaking of Gaga, do you guys like Joanne? I really wanted to like it. I think Million Reasons is growing on me. I really like John Wayne. I liked Perfect Illusion, and that's about where it stops. I hate to say it. I just really want, like, a dance floor, you know. I want... Oh, I'm starting to cry a little bit from these onions. I want fast. Like, I was telling a friend of mine earlier on, on uh, Facebook chat, I'm like, we don't need to go through every single life issue with you. Like, sometimes you need to make an album just for your fans. You know, like, what do your fans want? What do they need right now? And I feel like what we need is a really good um, dance album from Gaga. Like, old Gaga. At least I do. I would like to have something I can dance to and, you know, I don't know. Anyway, that's just me. Tell me in the comments if you guys like Joanne. I'm really curious to see what the reaction is because I know it's it's a departure for her. And uh, I wonder what her next music video is going to be like. Ooh, this lighting though. It's such a mess. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I hope to... Um, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm like just spinning trying to find the right lighting. That's better. Okay. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Um, I will post this soon, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.